Representatives of over 120 Jewish entities voted unanimously against the agreement negotiated a year ago between Argentina and Iran. If implemented, the treaty creates a truth commission to probe into the 1994 bombing of Jewish community center Amia here in Buenos Aires. These men represent most of Argentina's Jews, their temples, schools, museums, cultural and social centers. They met at AMIA's new offices built over the rubbles of the old community center destroyed by a bomb. 85 people died in the terrorist attack, which Argentine courts suspect was masterminded by Iran. 20 years later, the culprits are still at large, but members of the Jewish umbrella organization DAYA voted unanimously against the agreement negotiated a year ago by Argentine Foreign Minister Hector Timmerman with his Iranian counterpart to unblock the investigations. The treaty with Iran is unconstitutional and extremely damaging in our case. It has nothing to do with the aspirations of the direct victims of the attack, Amia and Daya, and their quest for justice. Jewish community leaders have already protested openly against the agreement and tried to overrule the treaty in court. Now they want to take a stronger political stand. As representatives of the Jewish institution, we have decided to unanimously reject the treaty, the law, and take all the necessary measures against it. Argentine prosecutor Alberto Nisman, in charge of the investigations, accuses eight top-level current and former Iranian officials of planning the terrorist attack. At his request, Interpol issued red notices for five of them, but he's been unable to extradite the suspects and take their depositions. A year ago, Iran said it was willing to cooperate and sign an agreement with Argentina, which would allow the suspects to be questioned in Tehran. Now Timmerman admits he's been stonewalled. Argentine Congress approved the treaty, but the Iranian parliament did not. Daesh President Julio Schlosser says they will continue to question the agreement in court. But now they'll also put pressure on the newly elected congressman to withdraw the law. We want to take action to raise awareness of the international community and all of the political forces in Argentina so they realize how inconvenient this treaty is. We want to find a way to annul it. In October 2013, Argentines elected a new Congress. Although the government still has a majority, Dias vice president believes things might change. Government has the majority in Congress, but there are many political parties which are willing to propose the annulment of the law this year. Argentina's Congress resumes sessions in March after the summer break. Jewish organizations hope that this time they'll be able to make their voice heard and convince legislators to revoke the controversial agreement with Iran. This is Monica Yanakia for JN1 in Buenos Aires.